All right, guys, let's go ahead and do a video for my Virgos out there or Virgo cross watcher. You can also reverse this if you need to. Could even be for somebody on the outside of you, something they're going through with another. Please excuse my hair. It may not look dirty to you on the video, but it's dirty. It is dirty. It is like I have, it is so freaking hot. It's freaking hot. Like it's just, I don't know, it's freaking hot. So it's been sticking to me and it's just, you know, I don't try to wash my hair every, every day anyway. I try to wash it like twice a week maybe now at this point. And just TMI, it's, I'm really self-conscious about it right now because it's sticking to me. It's sticking to me and it's nasty. It feels nasty. It's gross. It's awful. It's blah. Aside from that, aside from the hair situation, <laughs> this is, uh, I was hearing something about supportive love. That's what we're working with here. You have a beautiful message, Virgo or cross watcher beautiful this is in full support like this can go in any way too I mean let's say you uh, well let's speak in terms of romantic but let's say you're single but still there's a person on the outside of you who you're not necessarily with this person knows that you're going through some sort of maybe difficulties whether you yourself you're dealing with people who are going through difficulties or a person who's going through something difficult or making it difficult or something either way this is someone who it's like I'm patient with you I'm patient with this process I'm not gonna give up on you when I or, or unless you want me to but when I say that I care about you and I'm here and I'm in your corner and I love you that's what I mean I know you're not really used to that but I'm not going anywhere I'm also not gonna like bombard you and suffocate you I'll give you your space your peace your time but I'm right here waiting right here waiting Man, I'm getting a whole bunch of songs today. If this is people who are in a relationship, it's someone saying, I'm not going anywhere. I don't care what we go through. I'm not leaving you. I'm not leaving this. I'm in this forever with you. Right here waiting. Now listen, is that going to resonate for everybody? No, because some people, that's not healthy to just stay. It depends on the relationship, right? And the dynamic between two people and if it's like really bad. So, I, I mean, but for this one, I feel like it's things that people, at least someone here, feels as if we can work through it. So that's what someone's saying. It's a song called Right Here by Stained. They see you fighting, or vice versa. This could be you seeing another fighting. Fighting to uh, just be a better person. And that's all you can really ask for in this fucked up world. And we all make a lot of mistakes and we hopefully learn as we go and this is someone who's been put through the fucking ringer okay and currently still going through it and I feel like you would know that vice versa this is someone who's saying I know you've been you've gone through the ringer like you've been through a lot in your life you know you've been through your fair share of turmoil and pain and betrayals and heartbreaks and whatever again reverse it if you need to and um you know if space is what you need I'll be right here waiting the thing is this is someone who's you know, able to sit back and, and realize they've come a long way and they've learned a lot and sometimes they, they know when they need to pull back still and self-regulate and grow. This is you that does that. Well, whoever does that here, another person is saying, I am, I am um, sympathetic of your process. I understand your process and I care about you. Listen to me. I'm not going anywhere unless you tell me to get gone, get lost. I'm not going anywhere. You know, so any of this is a loyal friend, it's a loyal partner or a loyal potential partner, okay, future partner. It's loyal. You may be thinking, well, I went MIA and when I come back from my hiatus or from just my hermit mode or whatever, you're probably going to be, and it's like, no, they totally get it. It's kind of like people that are neurodivergent also get other people that are neurodivergent because it's like sometimes you uh, you go quiet and not talk for a while or something like that and need a lot of time to self-regulate and someone else who is neurodivergent will understand that they'll get that instead of getting offended it'll be like oh I totally get it okay we'll say somebody here you know um, I don't know it's almost like this person's been through just as much as you have vice versa but in their own way and in y'all's own way it might even be very similar or it could be totally different I don't know the reason I say that is because um, I used to use this like saying a lot and it's coming to mind now where I'm like you know let's say you were to get a tattoo if you were to go into a tattoo parlor or shop whatever they call them and um, you know you're wanting to get your first tattoo ever 
or your daughter or your son or somebody is wanting to get their first tattoo ever, who would you be more likely to put like yourself in their hands or to put your loved one in their hands? Someone who is sitting at their station and they have no tattoos at all, but yet they're a tattoo artist, or someone who is tatted the fuck up and some of the tattoos are not cute, ugly, blown out, faded. I mean, they basically drew all over themselves, right? I would go to that person. Most people wouldn't. But the reason I would, there's a lot of reasons I would go to that person. One, they're going to know more than likely wherever I get this tattoo or wherever my loved one gets this tattoo, they're going to know what it's what it feels like because they're tatted the fuck up everything but their eyeballs. Maybe even their eyeballs are tatted. Either, either way, wherever I get it, wherever my loved one gets it, this person's going to understand their pain because they probably have a tattoo in that spot. I can barely even see any of their original skin because it's covered in tattoos. Secondly, you know, because of they've, they've had mistakes and they have different inks and they have different colors, they know more than likely the type of pressure to use. They know more than likely the ink to use. They're more than likely going to do a good job because they have plenty of experience. Though they get judged on the outside because, oh, look at them. I'm like, oh, look at this. Some of the tattoos are jacked up. I wouldn't want them to touch me. Why not? You never know. That person may be incredible. This person over here might fuck you up, right? I've had a fucked up tattoo. I've had several of them. In fact, I wish I could start all over, really, for the most part. But, yeah, I have a misspelled tattoo, you know? And, and what's interesting is when I sat down, I will never forget that. <laughs> um, it was This was years and years ago. Um, dude was like, yeah, uh, I don't stencil. He didn't stencil or something, whatever they call that. He didn't do it. He freehanded. And um, he was like, yeah, I don't need to stencil. I freehand everything. And I'm like, okay. But it's funny because I didn't even notice when he was done. I had no clue. He left out the T in string. It's on my foot. It's called Truth, Courage, String. And I went with someone else who got Faith, Hope, Love. And I got Truth, Courage, String. That's just what I wanted. I, I didn't want it to be the same as most people put Truth, uh, Faith, Hope, Love. Uh, truth, Courage, Strength really resonated with me. And I just wanted it in that order. And um, I was actually in uh, cosmetology school at the time, and we had all had like a day out, and we were going to like Olive Garden, I believe it was, in Antioch, Tennessee, I'll never forget it. And one of the girls there, we were sitting on the bench outside waiting to go in, and she's like, do you, is that, do you not have a T in your strength? Because I had flip flops on, and I'm like, yes I do. And I get to looking at him like, son of a mother. He didn't even put a T in my strength. He totally forgot it because what does he do? Well, he was too proud. There's nothing wrong with being proud of yourself and our accomplishments and things we know we're good at, but sometimes, you know, come on. So anyway, he left out a T. I don't think that was a coincidence. I think that was meant to happen, you know, because at the time I wasn't very strong. No, I wasn't. So it makes sense that it wasn't completed properly and uh, it's interesting too because when you think about the T a T is considered like a cross right and the person I had gotten the tattoo with um, was a family member and ended up crossing me later on so it was really symbolic and not a coincidence whatsoever I should have paid attention to it but I didn't anyway I say all that to say this is someone who really understands you they get it. They get you. Um, you've made a permanent, because why are we talking about tattoos? You've made a permanent impression on someone, no matter what you think you've done. And it's not just going to, you're not just going to be wiped out in an easy like that. I mean, yeah, you can get tattoos removed, but you're in there. You're engraved in someone's heart, okay? And that's some real shit, especially if you're with them. Um, a lot of you, this this is someone, you, you haven't been with them yet, could be for some of you it could be an ex I'm not feeling that though I feel like it's some of you with current partners or it's some of you with maybe like a friend where there is love but I don't know you know or I don't know it's like someone's really guarded really protects themselves here kind of reminds me of cancers where it comes to like barriers and stuff like that um, this is a mature relationship or it has the potential to be a mature relationship because we have two very mature individuals who've been just been through a lot 
and can respect each other's space and time and things like that and not get put on a shape when <laughs> you know what I'm saying so I think uh, you know I think this person wants you to know or this is you who wants another to know vice versa I really believe in you if I if I believe in anyone let me tell you something right now when I say I believe in you I believe you're gonna make it wherever you want to make it I believe you're gonna make it because you already have and you keep doing it I don't believe you need anyone either I don't believe you need me I don't believe uh, you know what I mean there's nothing wrong with having that and that support but not for a second do I believe that you need anyone I think that you're a lot stronger than you even know that you are this is how someone feels about you it's how they feel uh, or it's how you feel about them. I feel like you are really blessed. Do you see the sun coming out? The sun keeps going behind clouds and then coming back out and then going behind clouds and coming back out. You know, this is someone who your struggle is not hidden from them. They can see it. They can tell. They know you must be in pain with the things that you've gone through or going, going through right now. They know that it's not easy. They know it hurts. They know that you get a whole ton of shit. Yeah, and then the second you start climbing, you, people try to knock you fucking down, don't they? Try to knock you down, try to rip you down because they don't feel good. So they, you know, some people do want to be miserable. I talk about that a lot. That is the truth. You know, I would have never thought that. I used to think, no, no, but no. Upon further investigation in this bitch ass life, no, some people really want to be miserable, and like they want to, and then they've like accepted that as their lot, and then they want others to be miserable because they are miserable. It is true, misery loves company, but um, it's not really long lasting there. This is someone who, uh, you know what I see? I see somebody taking in like a, 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 what do you call that? Rescuing, rescuing a pet, rescuing um, a, an animal outside, a bird or a, a dog or something like that. and. Um, a squirrel, a skunk, like a deer, a horse, like something you wouldn't bring in the house. And they're bringing this one. They're bringing it in the house, okay? Bringing it in the house. This could be you, just figuratively speaking. And they nurse you back to life. They care for you. They let you know they're there. But ultimately, you're free to go. Just like that vehicle is, that loud vehicle. You're free to go. This is someone saying, I just, uh, Oh my god, I got this song um, not long ago, and I'm getting it again. I think it's by Marshmallow. I want you to be happier. Happier Marshmallow. By the way, I think that's the one that has the, it's a really sweet video. Hold on, guys. It is so sweet. Happier Marshmallow. They, like, give her a dog. Yes. Oh my god. You guys have got to see the video Happier by Marshmallow. I'll put it, you probably already know what it is, but I'll put it in the comment section. Um, trust me. Now listen, if this isn't a romantic thing, this could be someone who's like, look, I believe in my children or my child no matter what. And whatever's going to make my kid happy in their life, I want them to be happy. Even if it's, you know, living life away from me, even if it's, you know, whatever. I mean, this is someone who's gone like, damn, this is like a wise old owl now. You know, at this point in life, the shit somebody's been through. Anyway, you should watch the video Happier. It makes me cry. It's so, the way that they shot that video, they could have done it any better. But the lyrics, I mean, someone, yeah, I'm telling you, tell me this isn't love. It's willing to let you go, willing to respect your space, but also saying, I'm not going anywhere. Emotionally, I'm always here with you. And I will always be in your corner. And I will always have your back and be on your side because I know you're a good person. I know you're not out there trying to hurt people. I know you're not conceited. I know you're not cocky. I know you've been through a lot. I've seen it from inside of the ring and outside of the ring, from the outside looking in. You get slandered, you get betrayed, you get hated on, all these things. And still at the end of the day, you're, you're, you're taking care of your family. Try to put food on the table. If you have kids, you're trying to take care of your kids. If you have a kid, you're trying to take care of your kid. Trying to, try to change your wrongs, even acknowledging your wrongs publicly, being open about the things that you've gone through. Do you know what that takes for somebody to do that? Yeah. But you probably don't hear that a lot. You think I'm going anywhere? I'm not going anywhere. Even if you need me to, I will physically move out of your way. I will I will grant whatever wish you need because I know that you're a good person, but I will always be in your corner. I'm here, okay? Like right here waiting. 
I will be right here on your side. You tell me and I'll be there. And also I want you to be happier. You think I want you to be sad? You think I want you to not make it wherever you want to make it in this life? No. I want you to have everything that you want. Because I truly, when I say I believe in you, I mean I believe in you. I believe in you. Wow. Lately I've been thinking I want you to be happier. When the morning comes, when we see what we've become in the cold light of day, we're a flame in the wind. Now listen, some of you, this could be someone letting somebody go. Where it's like, if that's what it would take to make you happier, I will do that because I love you. If that's what it will take, if that's what you want, if you want your freedom, if, if it isn't me, or if it just isn't anybody, you don't have to have even an answer for me, then whatever. Like I actually, this is genuine love. And it's not the first time I've gotten that for Virgo. Not at all. This is genuine love. Have there been trust issues at times? Yes. Um, could just be because life's a bitch, you know? It doesn't have to be a personal thing between two people. It could be. There could be things that's caused that between two individuals. But maybe it's not. Maybe it's society trying to get in these between these two. Or people trying to get in between these two. Plant little seeds of negativity and doubt. But ultimately, enough time has passed, I believe, here where someone's like, look, listen, I know who you are. No one's going to convince me otherwise. I know who you are on a personal level, and you're a good person, and I believe in you more than anything, and I love you. Go fly free. Spread your wings, and I'm going to be right here if, if, when you come back, if you want to, or whatever you want to do, you know? This could be family. This could be best friends. This could be a lot of you. I think it's love, you know? Or it's someone saying, I want you to be happier. You know, if you want to do this with me, I still want to do this with you. You want to do this? If this is a complete stranger, like someone new coming into someone's life, they may be saying, look, um, I don't necessarily need anything from you. I'm not going to give you an ultimatum. You know, this doesn't have to end any certain way with me. I don't have to trap you to show you that I love you. Whatever, you know. Um, I just want you to know I've, I've been like watching you. And I actually really see you for who you really are. And uh, keep fucking going. This is someone who might have even fallen in love with someone from behind the scenes over a period of time, seeing their growth, really um, seeing how a person really is, seeing who they really are. And um, I don't know, maybe even expressing some sort of loyalty to someone, but saying, don't give up keep going or maybe you deserve better you know whatever something like that so yeah I guess we can go now we got what we needed here yeah I mean again I guess there could be a relationship that's ending or someone's willing to like let something go but not not out of bitterness not out of like not begrudgingly like oh you know what blah 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 now I'm gonna go ruin you to everyone else it's like I don't I'm not gonna do anything like that and if anyone asks me about you it's none of their business I stay loyal to to you no matter what even if we decide we are not gonna be each other's life in that way my, my loyalty is still with you because I can tell you're a loyal person you're dedicated to sobriety you're dedicated to yourself you're dedicated to those that matter the most to you and that's really what matters who am i you're dedicated to your child your children if, if you have them you're dedicated to your mom or your dad or whoever right you're dedicated and you pull through you show you show up for those people and you show up for your fucking self so the fact that you have self-love tells me everything i need to know about you because there's a lot of people who don't and maybe you didn't always but you pulled yourself out of that and I could sit here all day and judge you for what you were before or I could be really proud of you for who you are now and I see your fight and I know that you've got this so let me not get in your way you know what I mean that's this message all right guys thank you for being here with me wow and I'll talk to you later